Hello friends. Believe it or not, the holidays are around the corner. <laughs> that means get togethers where you will probably bring your camera. Is that camera ready for prime time? Raymond and I have a lot of gear and even though I use my cameras every day, it's difficult to keep track of firmware updates and sensor cleaning and all the other housekeeping tasks that we should do with our gear. And I decided that this nearly holiday season would serve as the perfect time to do more to organize myself. Just make sure I know where everything is, make sure everything's clean, make sure that we still want all of this stuff that we have. So I'm sitting down right now to go through everything. It's gonna take me a couple days though, but in this video, I will go through the entire process with you. I've come up with like 10-ish steps to keep my photography house in order. Don't look at the rest of my house though. It's not nearly as clean as my office. <laughs> but anyway, I want my cameras to be ready for me, ready for that next outing. And at this time of year, I'm looking forward to the holiday season, which I know is a really good opportunity to grab some photos of family and friends. I encourage you to get your gear ready too. So let's get into it. This portion of the video is sponsored by KEH. KEH is the original re-commerce company, meaning that they buy and sell used gear. I was a customer of KEH even before I started working with them, and I continue to go to them to purchase used gear and to sell my gear when we find that we just aren't using something. KEH has quite the variety of gear in stock for purchase. Raymond and I are currently stocking the site for a Nikon 35mm f1.4 AIS lens in good condition. You see that they do have a couple in stock right now, but the best condition they have is bargain, which if you look at KEH's grading chart means that the picture quality should be unaffected, but the lens has quite a bit of wear. Raymond and I are being picky, so we're waiting for something in the excellent or excellent plus range. We did this same kind of stocking a while back and we were rewarded when this Nikon 50 millimeter f1.2 AIS became available in excellent shape. So wish us luck that the 35 will show up soon. And my point here is that I trust KEH and I appreciate that they have enough traffic of used gear coming in that Raymond and I know that eventually our lens will show up and I can trust KEH's grading system that I will receive the lens in the condition that I expect because they've already done a bunch of testing. And they have a system for grading, so I know what I'll get what I asked for. I do have affiliate links in the description of this video. Using those links to get to KEH helps KEH know to continue supporting this channel. I also have special codes for you in the description that give you a discount on the purchase of gear and a bonus on the sale of your gear. I also receive a small commission, which in combination with the KEH sponsorship helps me continue releasing videos like this one. So thank you to those of you that use those links and thank you to KEH for continuing to partner with this channel. My first task is physically cleaning both where I keep the cameras and the cameras and lenses themselves. I keep my cameras and lenses on shelves, so I will dust all the shelves and I'll also physically clean the gear. My gear doesn't really gather dust on the shelves because we use all of it, but it does gather dust and particles when we go out in the field. So I'm gonna go through my stuff and really clean the outside of it. On a related note, when I am cleaning all of my cameras and my lenses, I'll do a general inspection. Is everything as it should be? Is the grip, the rubbery material on the camera's grip, is it peeling away? Do I need to replace it or glue it back into place? I may also even clean out my camera bags. Most of my bags are empty, but the ones that I use the most often end up just having a bunch of stuff in them, cleaning wipes. Peak Design Anchors, Granola Bars, Lip Balm. <laughs> I need to reassess what actually needs to be in the bags. Backing up a bit. I suggested cleaning the outside of your cameras and lenses, but what about the inside? You might use your camera's built-in sensor cleaning option where the camera vibrates the sensor, or have you used a blower like this one to blow dust off the sensor? That could work, and those are a good first line of defense, but some particles can't get shaken or blown off or, or they don't necessarily leave the camera. It's kind of hit and miss. Or you may have a smudge on the sensor, it happens. And if that's the case, you may need to think about wet cleaning the sensor. You can purchase kits at camera stores or online. We always keep a dozen of these sensor swabs and solution handy, but I don't really recommend doing it yourself unless you've practiced, maybe on an older camera. <laughs> if you're cleaning a DSLR or mirrorless camera with a physical shutter, 
assure that you've got everything set right so that the shutter does not close during cleaning or it's a very pricey repair. Cleaning it yourself might not be for you. In that case, I recommend that you send the camera to the manufacturer or go to a trustworthy camera shop. I'm not recommending one way or the other. We do clean our own, but it's something that we're into and we're practiced at it. Use your judgment with this aspect. I hate cleaning, <laughs> but I love my cameras. <laughs> so keeping them in tip top shape is a priority for me. And that brings me to firmware. Firmware is the software that runs on your cameras and your lenses, and even some lens adapters. Camera companies will occasionally release firmware updates that fix bugs or provide new features. So it's a good idea to check your camera brand's website from time to time. Usually if you Google your camera's name plus firmware update, you'll find the page that has the update to download along with what the update will do and instructions on how to update your camera. And the same goes for lenses. Similarly, there may be a few other in-camera things that you can do. If you've noticed that some of your lenses are slightly off when autofocusing, maybe you aren't quite achieving focus. Many cameras have an autofocus fine tune option where you can correct the focus. You can search your camera's manual to see if your camera has this option. Another item in your camera's menus is battery health. Batteries don't last forever. <laughs> Most cameras will show you what capacity your battery has left. It might read say 80%, which means that the battery will only charge to 80% of its original capacity, even if the battery indicator on your camera is showing full. And while you can continue to use those 80% batteries, it is a good piece of information, especially ahead of a long trip where you may need as much power as you can have for as long as possible. Similarly, memory cards do not last forever. <laughs> this is a good time to make sure that your memory cards are still in shape. Make sure that they aren't damaged in any way and maybe even consider how old they are, how often you've captured photographs and formatted them. This is a good time to make sure you have a backup card if needed. If you calibrate your computer monitor with a solution like my Datacolor Spider X, <laughs> this is a great time to recalibrate. Different solutions will have different intervals for recalibration, but it's never a bad time to do it. And you know what? While performing this whole housekeeping ritual, <laughs> you might notice that you have too much stuff. Don't look back here, I don't have too much stuff but you might, there might be things that you don't need or want anymore. You can get rid of stuff. I've donated to local schools or organizations, or you can sell. I use KEH. And again, if you use my affiliate link and code from the description of this video, you can get a bonus on the sale of your gear. But no matter how you decide to sell or donate, you'll be making space and, and making a little bit of money at the same time, which we all know probably means spending more money on new stuff to fill that space that you've just cleared. Now I've talked about the cameras and lenses on these shelves, but I have these drawers here and I have bins down below. They're all full of stuff like lens filters, lens adapters, speed lights, film, action cameras, accessories, all sorts of stuff. I will look through everything and get rid of anything that I don't need, make sure everything's organized. So this exercise for me isn't done, but I'm gonna end the video here. If there are things that you do to keep your gear clean and organized, let the rest of us know in the comments. Thank you to KEH for continuing to support this channel and thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.